Tommy, a point gained on the road at Hoysh Park today. What, what are your thoughts after that one? Yeah, I mean, overall, you know, you come away from home. I keep saying this, points are precious when you're on the road. Um, so it's, an, it's another one to the tally. But um, both teams in Lake Clem could have won, should have won. I thought us in the first half, I know Marcus has made a couple of saves, but we had umpteen chances to have mm. killed the game, to be honest with you. Um, and there were good chances. So someone's going to take the bull by the horns. You know, Josh, Josh Barrett takes stick wherever we travel because how he looks. But he's done a couple of things on the pitch today, including his goal that are way, way, way above this level of the game. Um, and he, he'll be labelled lazy, he'll be labelled this, that and the other, but people need to have a look at that and go, wow, that, that is something. Yeah. I would pay me money to watch that. Yeah, brilliant finish, wasn't it? I mean, and that is typical of Josh, what he can do, creating something out of nothing, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, well, it was a good move, to be fair. We, yeah. we, we, had, a, we had a plan from the off that we thought James and Josh were going to have big, big parts to play in our, at, at the end of the, the movements. Um, so the message was to get them, and them both were very prominent in the first half, to be fair. Um, but the way they play the game, um, I would expect us to score more goals. Not particularly just them two lads, but the, the lads who are around them because they do create and they make openings for other people. So, listen, we, I just, I, I don't think it was the goalkeeper particularly, or maybe he's a block or whatever, or we missed the target, I don't know. Um, but, you know, we've hit the bar for the yeah, free header from a corner. So, listen, it, it's, it's, ultimately I'm happy with the point, but, but, I do feel we should have taken all three. Now, we saw Tyler Frost come back, which is obviously yeah. a good sign, but we saw uh, Dayan come off um, injured, and I guess Jack Barham wasn't in the squad today. I guess that he's picked up something in the week. So yeah. it, it just seems like every time we seem to be getting one person back, we're just losing yeah. another two. Um, it does. And only six subs named today as well. Yeah. So is, is that a... Well, that's that's because Jack pulled out in the last minute yeah, yesterday, so he hasn't recovered from Tuesday. He's miles behind in terms of match minutes. Um, and we know that. Um, and he's just finding it hard to... To regenerate himself so you know if he, if he couldn't be used so there's no point in bringing him yeah. um, but you know one one man's misfortunes another man's gain so somebody else will get a chance um, and we just move on to the another long trek next next Saturday now well we we've, we've spoken haven't we because we have struggled for goals over the last month or so um, and only one scored today but like you say there was lots oh, yeah. of chances created today so there's, yeah. there's positive positives from that to move forward isn't yeah there? I mean listen I, I sometimes you don't realize what you miss until it's not there and I thought that was evident. I don't think we passed the ball anywhere near as well as we can do. Um, and that comes from the heart of the pitch. So from, from that point of view, um, yeah, it, it's one of them. Look, before the game, I know, look around yourself. It's, this is a football league ground. It's a football league club, has been recently. Um, and I don't expect them to be down the bottom end of the table. So to come here and get a point, good. You know, we kept, the, we kept their crowd really quiet for the first, you know, 55 minutes or so. But when they scored, they got behind them and they, they sort of rallied them on to try and, and push for a winner. But I thought either side could have won it. Um, I was just hoping it was going to be us. Yeah, exactly. I think we probably edged the first half, didn't we? They maybe came back in the second yeah. half. So a bit of an even affair, but one we can definitely take positives from moving oh, yeah. forward. Yeah, I mean, listen, there's no panic in here. We're not throwing babies out with the bathwater or anything like that. Um, we know where we've got to polish, to be honest with you. At the end of the day, you know, we are creating the chances. And I, I said this all through pre-season, certain p players on hitting the target at the minute but it'll happen for them you know we keep practicing the right things the enemy of the enemy of um a striker is doubt and yeah. the best way to do that is just practice keep practice 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 and we will do and i'm, and I'm sure it'll come come good for us again yeah and had he up front you know he scored already this season a couple times hasn't he and he's really putting the effort in so yeah. it will come for him eventually won't he's it? honest listen he's an honest lad he works his tail off he covers a hell of a lot of ground probably too much at times i want yeah. him to narrow the pitch and that sounds a bit daft but he needs to be in between the posts. I used to say the same thing to the number nine last year. At the end of the day, if you're not in between the goals, you'll not score goals. It's as simple as that. Um, it's just taking a little bit longer for the penny to drop. 